Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Hey y'all, so welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered. I hope everyone is doing good today. It's been a lot going on on my end, especially, you know, coming back from vacation and I had to get back into mommy mode and get just so much stuff done over the past few days, Um, plus go to the doctors and just all types of stuff. But I want to come on and do a few podcasts. I will try and live stream tomorrow. Um, I should have some time tomorrow to do a live stream. I miss all of you guys, and I can't wait to eventually live stream and, um, you know, kick it on YouTube and also in the Discord during the Zoom meeting and all that fun stuff. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Little Nas X controversy. So once again, Little Nas X is in his damn feelings, okay? And right now he's crying and ranting and raving about Tony Hawk. If you guys do not know who Tony Hawk is, Tony Hawk is a professional skateboarder. He's been around, honey, since the 80s, okay? And so basically, Tony Hawk is selling 100 skateboards painted with his very own blood in it, okay? So this just came out, and um, Little Nas X is upset, and he's saying that basically the treatment that he received is far different from the treatment that Tony Hawk is receiving. So I want to go ahead and play you guys the video of Tony Hawk and this whole blood debacle. Go ahead and check this out. Hey, what's up? I'm Tony Hawk, and I recently became an ambassador for Liquid Death Mountain Water. Apparently, I didn't read the fine print, and now Liquid Death officially owns my soul and my blood, too. It's very confusing, and we're going to use it for skateboard graphics. So they're going to mix my blood into the paint and do a limited run of skateboards using my real blood in the graphics. But some of the profits will go towards killing plastic pollution and to building skate parks in underserved communities. Yeah, so I guess go to liquiddeath.com to get skateboards with my blood in it. Wait, if you have my blood, that means you have my DNA. No clones. Get the Liquid Death skateboard infused with 100% real Tony Hawk today. Wow, you can own your very own piece of Birdman, but hurry. Supplies are extremely limited, so visit liquiddeath.com slash Hawk. All right, so you guys just watched the Tony Hawk video. On top of that, this is also what he wrote on his Instagram page. Tony Hawk says, always read the fine print. Thanks at Liquid Death for this rare opportunity, but please be careful with my life force. Looking forward to our future collaborations as long as it doesn't involve any replicants. So that is what he had to say. So Little Nas X took to Twitter and this is what he had to say about the situation. So Little Nas X says, now that Tony Hawk has released skateboards with his blood painted on them and there was no public outrage, Are y'all ready to admit that y'all were never actually upset over the blood in the shoes and maybe you were mad for other reasons? So that is what he has to say about the situation. And personally, I'm tired of this dude constantly. He doesn't know what side of the fence he wants to be on. One minute he wants to be about that life trolling, acting like, you know, he's unbothered and he don't give a fuck about the outrage and the controversy and the lawsuits. But then in the same breath, you can tell that he's highly pressed and bothered. My thing is, there's a big difference. Tony Hawk is an aging skateboarder, okay? So unless you're a huge skateboard fan, there's not going to be as much outrage over him painting and using his blood with a skateboard as there is going to be a guy who was put out there towards children. He can try and say that old time roll wasn't for kids and all that goofy shit, but we know it was. This is Little Nas X on Sesame Street. You don't get more kid friendly than being on Sesame Street. When you're going to schools and performing for children, okay, and the parents are getting to know who you are, they're gonna have a problem with you promoting the Satan shoot. Quick, tell us what's about to happen. Um, you know, I'm finna do the biggest show of my life and it's gonna be great. Now, I don't understand why he acts like people can't walk and chew gum at the same time. I don't find none of this shit cute. 
Not little Nas X's thousand dollar Satan shoes, nor do I find this skateboard, okay, that's being painted with Tony Hawk's blood. I don't find that situation okay. You know, I didn't even like the commercial. The commercial is dark. Not only the music playing in the background, but he's promoting Liquid Death. Just listen to the name of that brand, Liquid Death, okay? And then on top of that, he's acting like basically he sold his soul to the devil. I didn't read the fine print. I didn't know it was all in the contract. Now they own my soul. I don't think any of that is cute. I wouldn't buy the skateboard. My kids skateboard. Hell, we met Tony Hawk when we lived in LA. You know what I'm saying? He was really cool. Came out skating with all the kids at the park and things like that. But I wouldn't buy that skateboard for my kids just like I wouldn't buy my boys them damn Satan shoes. So I don't know why he's always trying to make it an underlying issue with his sexuality when your sexuality has nothing to do with the situation. For the most part, people were not filling the shoes. One, at least with the skateboard, folks know the blood came from Tony Hawk. To this day, Little Nas X has no idea where that blood came from in those Satan shoes. They weren't his blood. Nobody knows where that life force came from. The second issue that he wants to ignore is that he straight up infringed Nike. It wasn't like he created these shoes on his own. He had the Nike brand on there, basically almost sullied Nike's brand because people were boycotting Nike, going off on Nike, so much so that Nike not only had to distance themselves, but prove that they had nothing to do with the shoe by suing Nas X. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Nike is suing over Lil Nas X's polarizing Satan Shoes collaboration. The so-called Satan Shoe is adorned with a bronze pentagram and upside down cross and allegedly contains a drop of human blood in the soles. Nike said in a statement, we do not have a relationship with Lil Nas X or Ms. Schiff. The Satan Shoes were produced without Nike's approval or authorization, and Nike is in no way connected with this project. Ms. Schiff has not responded to NBC News' request for comment. They bought a bunch of Nike shoes, legitimate Nike shoes, and then added these aftermarket modifications. And that, Nike says, results in what's called dilution. Uh, it creates a, a substantial chance that people will mistake this for having come from Nike. And they have evidence in their complaint that people online think this is actually Nike's doing. And they do not like that one bit. All right. So you guys just saw that. For him to try and imply and act like everybody's OK with Tony Hawk selling these skateboards with his blood painted on them, I feel like he's just being willfully deceptive. He knows damn well his situation goes way deeper than Tony Hawk's situation, okay? First and foremost, you're sitting here using satanic symbolism, satanic imagery, when most of the population, they do not like Satan. Let's keep it real. Most religion, Islam, Christianity, Buddha, whatever, they have issues with, with Satanism and Satan imagery. You knew what you were doing. You try to go the Satan route to try and drum up controversy for your music video to go viral. And you got the attention that you were so desperately seeking. But unfortunately for you, you also received a ton of backlash and that's what you can't handle. So now you want to try and flip it around and act like, oh, everybody's rocking with Tony Hawk because he's a straight white man. But you guys attacked me because I'm gay. He didn't say that, but that's what he's trying to imply when he says, maybe you were mad for some other reason. No, we were mad because those shoes were trifling as fuck. Okay, and you can try and spin this how you want to spin this, but I can walk and chew gum. I don't like your Satan shoes. I wouldn't buy them damn Satan shoes. And I don't like Tony Hawk's skateboard. Now what? Okay, and on top of that, you know, on top of like just the demonic imagery in that video, which to me was just disgusting and I stand by that. I'm not going to wave my stance just because he has another video that y'all like because, you know, that's social media. They're wishy-washy. You know, they'll, they'll cancel you one moment. And as soon as you do some shit that they like, then they forget that they had just canceled you the month before. I'm going to keep the same energy. You know, on top of, you know, the shoes, let's also not forget that he also had Luke 1018 um, stitched into the shoe. And that Bible verse stands for, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. You know, so he was going hard with the Satanism. He was going hard with the satanic imagery. Plus he was selling the shoes for $1,018, you know, and he ended up selling them out. He sold 666 pairs of shoes. So I'm sorry, this is like basically comparing apples to oranges. I get what he's trying to say, but no, I'm sorry. I'm not feeling none of this bloody life force bullshit. You know, I feel like a lot of this stuff is celebrities looking for attention. 
you know, looking to go viral, looking to revive their brand. And how can they do that? They can do that by doing things controversial like this, you know, getting blood drawn out and mixing it in paint and everything else. I'm just not feeling it. I don't think it should be that serious. I'm just tired of the gimmicks. I think, you know, if you're going to be a musician, make it about the music. Like everything is such a gimmick right now. It's like if it's not overt sexuality and debauchery, then it's the Satanism angle. Everything has to be so dark. You know, it's just not about, hey, I'm a talented individual. I can sing. I can rap. It always has to be a bunch of other mess that comes with it. And I think that's the part that frustrates a lot of people. So I think for him to try and act like, you know, Tony Hawk isn't receiving any backlash He's not getting the same amount of backlash, but he's definitely getting some backlash. But of course, it's not the same amount because, again, he forgets that when he first came out, he was geared towards children. So when you go from being geared towards children, I don't care what the lyrics are to Old Town Road. This man was performing in schools. He was on Sesame Street. He was definitely gearing his brand towards more kid safe, kid friendly, you know, tweens, teens, stuff like that. And so... When you have these parents, because Old Town Road, you couldn't even fucking walk down the road without hearing the song that summer. They played it 24-7 on the radio. So a lot of parents did rock with the song. They did like the song. And then for them to hear the song that their kids were singing and were remixing and doing TikToks to, to then see that same artist turn around and basically fall from heaven and give the devil a lap dance, you know what I'm saying, and try and sell some satanic shoes. Of course, you're going to have way more controversy for everything you did, you know what I'm saying, a few months ago, as opposed to Tony Hawk. So again, that's why I don't buy this whole, I'm unbothered, I'm doing me, I don't care. All the little jokes and jabs that he had about Nike trying to sue him. He's clearly bothered. He's clearly in his feelings because somebody else kind of did something similar, but they didn't get as much backlash. It is what it is. Like I said, I don't agree with neither one of them. I think it's just a bit too much. You know, Tony Hawk, you're 50 something years old, sir. Like, why do we need stunts? The only stunts I want to see from Tony Hawk is on the skateboard. OK, because we all know he's a killer skateboarder. He does his thing. He's been in the game for years. Those are the only stunts I like to see from Tony. This bloody life force, dark energy drink. I'm cool. I don't need nothing dark sided in my life, honey. When it comes to mess like this, I'm like that God warrior lady from Trading Spouses, honey. Y'all remember her when she was going off, screaming, ranting, and raving, talking about all this shit is dark sided? Let me go ahead and refresh your memory. She's not a Christian. No. She is dark sided too. Gargoyles, psychics, everything's ungodly. Get the out of my house. In Jesus' name, I pray. And there you go. She wasn't playing. You know, some people are very religious and that is okay. I don't understand why it's always okay to make fun of people's religions or talk down to people if they just tend to be more religious, if they're not willing to be open-minded towards, you know, dark-sided things like Satan shoes and bloody skateboards and stuff like that, because maybe their religion, you know, doesn't believe in it, or maybe, you know what I'm saying, their energy or how they feel about the situation is just off-putting. It's okay. Everybody don't have to like your music. Everybody don't have to like the shoes and the things that you drop. As long as your fans like you and support what you do, worry about your fans. But you can't sit here and try and shame folks into agreeing with you when he knows damn well he was dead wrong for them damn shoes. And you know what else I find really disturbing about the situation is the fact that... Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.